Rakesh, tell me about yourself. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. I'm Rakesh, I'm from Arangal. Mm -hmm. I have recently completed my graduation in Vardai College of Engineering mm -hmm. in the stream of uh, computer science. I got an overall CGP of 7.89. Mm -hmm. in, uh, in my graduation, I have done a major project mm -hmm. which is on sign language recognition using ML, mm -hmm. which uh, builds the communication gap between that uh, dumb and mute people. Mm -hmm. And I also done uh, Amazon clone type. Mm -hmm. Using HTML and CSS. Very good. I have skills on uh, Python, SQL, and HTML CSS. Very good. That's all about things. Do you have any achievements? If you are having any achievement, you just try to present them. I have participated in a hack hackathon. Sir. Okay, very just good. Just I have practice. These these kind of things you have to highlight. Okay, very good. So coming to the projects, just explain me your final project because you are CSC student. You should be should be in a position to explain it. So tell me what you did in that project. And what are the technologies you have used? My project is about uh, sign language recognition, mm -hmm. where the different dumb people will be uh, communicating in a sign language using hand gestures. Okay. So I have developed a um, project where using OpenCV, these uh, machine yeah. learning modules, mm -hmm. where uh, it, it will capture the hand gestures, and based on the hand gestures, it will be giving a message the okay. gesture name. So in that way, we can communicate. Okay. So, what is the use of loops? Loops are used to iterate uh, some set of uh, through iterate ways. Uh, loops are used for iteration for certain block mm -hmm. until a certain condition is okay. become false. Okay. What do you mean of list comprehension? List comprehension is a short shorthand of a shorthand of a list sir, to create okay. to create a list. Okay. Can you please create a list with one to hundred even numbers using list comprehension? Write a code. Yes. Yes. Good. So tell me, uh, what is the purpose of sets in data structures? Set is a data structure mm -hmm. which uh, does not allow duplicate values and mm -hmm. does not follow some other. It is a mutable data structure. Okay. Where we generally use sets? Sets are used in set theory operations mm -hmm. like union difference, okay. symmetric difference. Okay. In two strings, so one string is having ABC. String. Check whether all these strings or characters are there in S2 or not. Set of strings. Sir. String, I am talking about string, string, S1, A, B, C, S2, you take another thing, A, B, C, D. Now, anyway, we, we can identify. Okay. So, all the characters in S1 is there in S2, but S2 characters are not there in S1. In this case, I want to print Python. If S1 characters are there in S2 and S2 characters are there in S1, I want to print VQ. That's it. Okay. I'll write a program. Uh, <coughs> you are having a string like we are good students. I want you to find how many times each character is repeated. It's a kind of character count program. That's it. Okay, leave it, leave it. So tell me, what do you mean of generator? Generator is a special function which uses yield keyword, yield keyword to return the values. Why you are using yield keyword? Generally, generally functions uses a return function, a return statement to return the values. While we are using return, uh, single. Uh, single value should be written, but using yield keyword, you can. So, you cannot return multiple values by using return? No, sir. Why? You can store into list and you can return, right? Yes, sir. Then? By storing in a list, it will take more memory. Mm -hmm. So, you cannot, uh, for reducing the memory, management okay. will use yield. Okay. What is yield will do? Yield will return the output as it uh, encounter, as it, the statement has. Okay. Very good. What do you mean of decorator? Decorator is a special function which uh, mo which modifies the original function without changing the behavior of the function. Okay. Can you please write an example for decorator? Explain man, how it is working. Actually, I have written, I have written for a divide function. Mm -hmm. Why? I mean, what you are expecting from the divide function? Extra. If the denominator is uh, zero, I want to uh, give a message that it cannot be mm -hmm. usable. Okay. Otherwise, I will divide the function. Mm -hmm. Very good. So, how it is working? Explain. Mm. I still call here. Then come zero. Mm -hmm. When we run the program, the program will start here, sir. 
uh, in, in a python program if you have a decorator first the program will start from the decorator itself mm -hmm. so divide divide of 10 comma 0 uh, this is an outer function is a decorator it takes an input uh, input yeah. as a function okay and it is an inner function it is a same replica of a original function mm -hmm. As it uh, takes the two inputs, this also it takes two inputs. Mm -hmm. It will check if the y, mm -hmm. if b is equal to equal to zero, I will print it will it cannot be done. Otherwise, I will call the function. This function means your function. So it will it will return the c value, and I am written. Okay, okay, good. So can you tell me what do you mean of inheritance? Inheritance means acquiring the properties of parent class to the child class. Okay. What is the purpose why we generally use inheritance? When you have, when we want to inherit some methods which cannot be reused, mm -hmm. it, uh, for a, it will be a, it will be redundancy, sir. So duplication of code. So we mm -hmm. can use the parent class uh, object. Uh, parent class methods can be used in the child class. Okay. Okay. Code reusability. Code reusability. Okay. Very good. So what is the difference between primary key and unique key? Primary key is a constant, which is which is a combination of a unique key and null, uh, unique key and not null key. It will check. It will check in a particular column the column should be uniquely uniquely identified by each each record mm -hmm. whereas unique is unique so unique, unique key ensures that the column should be unique and it can be uh, nullable values nullable okay can you please write a query like i am having an employee table in the employee table i am having employee name salary and department i want to know how many employees are there in each department mm -hmm. how many employees are there in each department i want to know that Okay. Very good, man. You are doing good. Okay. Just keep it up. Okay.